space friends. This week I'm talking about how NASA is launching a mission not to deep space, but to the deep sea. The mission is called Subsea, and it's going to explore an underwater volcano to search for extreme forms of life that may inform us about how life could exist in a similar environment on Saturn's icy moon Enceladus that's known to have an ocean and perhaps some hydrothermal vents as well. What I'm really excited to share with all of you is that I am going to be a part of this mission. I am actually just about to leave to go on board this expedition for three weeks to go live and work on a ship that's going to be exploring this underwater volcano with two underwater robots. The subsea mission will specifically be looking at the Loihi Seamount, an underwater active volcano about 35 kilometers off the coast of Hawaii, right next to the Kilauea volcano that you've probably been hearing about in the news lately. Like Saturn's moon Enceladus, the Loihi Seamount has low amounts of oxygen and hydrothermal activity, making it difficult for many forms of life to live there, but not all. Around Loihi, we're expecting to see perhaps some hardcore shrimp and microbial mats. Microbial mats are slimy structures that are formed by bacteria and perhaps some other single-celled organisms. They kind of clump together, they're slimy, they're gross, but they're also fascinating because they're also some of the very earliest forms of life that we've discovered here on Earth. A fun thing about the subsea mission is that it's actually a partnership between two federal agencies, NASA and NOAA. They are teaming up to do ocean exploration and space exploration that really benefit one another, and I just think it's really awesome to have two awesome federal agencies teaming up. The whole ship is operated by the Ocean Exploration Trust, the nonprofit that was formed by Dr. Robert Ballard, the guy who discovered the Titanic and also discovered hydrothermal vents in the first place, which is pretty badass. On board the ship, it's going to be a multidisciplinary mashup of scientists and researchers and pilots, all sorts of people, biologists, geologists, astrobiologists, oceanographers, people who specialize in seafloor mapping, people who specialize in piloting these underwater robots, who specialize in piloting the ship. I'm going to be on board. I'm going to be trying to do some microscopy and other stuff. And I am just really excited for all the different people who come from all different areas of expertise coming together and being on the ship together. What's even cooler is the fact that the entire thing is going to be live streamed pretty much 24 seven. The two underwater robots have cameras on board and they are going to be live streaming. So you can tune in in real time to see what the robots are exploring underwater, our commentary from people on the ship like myself, and you can ask questions and get answers to them on the live stream. You can do all of that by going to nautiluslive.org. Beginning August 24th to about September 12th, if you tune in between 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time, or even 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Pacific time, if you're a late nighter or live in a different part of the world, you can hear me on the live stream and you can ask me questions and I will be moderating the live stream and discovering stuff right there with you. So if you don't see any videos from me for a few weeks, this is why, because I'm going to be aboard this deep sea expedition, which is just incredible. It's also incredible to be doing this in the same year that I am going to Antarctica, as you saw in my last video. Definitely a big exploration year for me. Um, I am going to be bringing aboard the deep sea expedition a lot of geeky camera gear so that I can record what life is like on there and post some videos when I get back about what it's like to be on a deep sea expedition. I wanted to share some of the dorky uh, camera gear that I got, uh, one of which is this vest here, which uh, has a GoPro mount on it and allows you to sort of see over my shoulder. Um, I'm gonna put it on right now just so you can see how dorky it is. So yeah, pretty dorky, pretty geeky. Um, I'm going to look pretty silly, but this way I can actually get some angles where you can see over my shoulder and perhaps when I'm doing some microscopy or other stuff on the ship, you can sort of get the feeling that you are literally looking over my shoulder on a deep sea expedition, which is pretty cool. So this is a really exciting exploration year for me and I'm really excited to bring all of you along for the ride on this. To follow along for updates from me on the ship of what it's like on the ship or weird deep sea creatures I'm encountering or what have you, you can join me on Patreon, patreon.com slash Ariel Waldman. A reminder, if you join at the $5 level or above, I will send you a postcard from Antarctica, stamp from Antarctica from me to you when I go to Antarctica later this year. Another way you can follow updates from me from the ship is to follow me on Instagram. Otherwise, I'll see you all back here on YouTube in a few weeks.